Well, hey, it's Don again. I'm out here in the garage. Where the heck have you been, man? I know where I've been. I've been up in Seattle, freezing my ass off on the boat up there. I was up there during that big chill that descended across the nation. And I figured out that it's a little more challenging to stay cozy and warm on a boat than it is in a house. But that's all in the rearview mirror right now. And I am back here in Salt Lake and it's time to get started on this old Jeep again. So let's tear into it. I'll give you a quick update what we're going to do today and then we'll do that today. Okay, so let's get started with the burning question that I know is still on your mind from two or three episodes ago. Are my jeans still torn? Sadly, <gasps> yes, my jeans are still torn. But other than that, everything else is going swimmingly. So you'll recall in that episode we were doing the second round. No, check that, the third round of painting and clear coating this Jeep tub. And that's all done now. I've wet sanded all but a, t a few little spots here and there, like the top of the cowl and the front of the windshield frame. I've got to get up in the Jeep to get to that. I haven't touched the grill yet. It's sitting over here, so it needs to get a pass. I think it will be less trouble than everything else because it was most flat when I painted it. And so we'll probably have the least amount of orange peel. And so we're going to shove this thing over in the middle of the garage and tear right into it. catching me after I took a break to go have a sandwich but I've come back out here now and um, this is how the hood looks so again it's quite weird you take all this trouble and you make the thing all shiny and then you take a bunch of effort and you make it all dull and then you go back and try to make it shiny again <laughs> Quite a process. Weird stuff us humans do, huh? So anyway, um, I think the the grill is is not in too bad of shape. So um, you know, way down here at the very bottom, you can see a couple of spots there. But then this will be covered by the ring around the light. But for the most part, I've done 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and that's what we're trying to get to is just smooth, smooth. So. A little bit on our our bars here but those are really tough to get to so yeah looks pretty good I think and we will probably gonna come up here and work this area and up here I've got a couple spots I haven't gotten to so peel all this stuff out and uh, tear into that
All right, well, we have reached the point where we're pretty much universally dull all across everything here. So time to break out the, the um, buffer. Now, what I did just to catch you up is after the last round, I threw everything in the washing machine and just gave her hell, let her let it have a wash. So my wool pads clean. I'm going to start with that and my cutting compound first and do my thing. Here we go. Alrighty, well, it's about five o'clock. It's about time to hang it up here and go get me some dinner. But before I do so, I just wanted to give you an update. I told you I would. Um, you saw me buff, 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 da, 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 da. just never ends. But I'll give you a quick look at how we're looking so far. So hang on, I'm gonna spin you around. We're gonna look at the grill. All right, so there's the grill. It's looking pretty good. Um, I've done the wool pad and the small buffer with its kind of fabric pad. And then I've done my coarse or, you know, my fine, but not my ultra fine foam pad on that. And then I've wiped it down with a microfiber cloth. Looks pretty good. As for the rest of the tub, similar situation. Um, I have pretty much gone over everything. Wiped it down. I still see when, well, I've learned two things, all right? Well, I've probably learned more than two through the course of this thing. One is just pay the damn money and have something else paint your Jeep. But the thing I learned today is, first of all, I need a headlamp because I've been trying to hold this light on the grinder, on the buffer, so I can see what I'm doing because it's rather dark over here on this side of the garage. All the lights are over on the other side or most of them, I only have one over here. So it's a little dark and you really need to have it well lit so you can see what you're doing. But I can see having gone through this and wiped it down now. Um, as I get close, I can still see a few places that still have kind of that haze from the sanding and the polishing isn't quite done yet. but. Dang, we're getting there. We are getting there. It's looking pretty good. Um, so today's Saturday, my first Saturday back in town. I got plans tomorrow, so I will not be working on the Jeep tomorrow, I don't think. Or if I do, it'll be late in the evening. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this thing back over where it lives against the wall here so I can get the car in the garage and um, clean up and go make myself some dinner. <laughs> 